Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we uh, installed the Divi theme and did a quick walkthrough to show you the features of it. Let's go ahead and brand our site in this video. When I say brand it I'm going to upload a logo and a favicon. Now we're just using the default site we haven't done anything to it created any pages so it's not going to look very interesting here it is all we got there is the default Divi logo an example menu and the example post that gets loaded automatically with WordPress so let's go ahead and start branding our site first thing I want to do is add a logo if you go down to Divi to theme options where we are at the moment right at the top here on the general tab you're going to see logo and this is where you can upload your logo now I've created a uh, just a simple logo in Photoshop I know everybody doesn't have Photoshop there's plenty of places online you can create logos or there's a free alternative to Photoshop called GIMP I've never actually used it myself because I've always had Photoshop but people say it's very good and it's very similar I'll put this link below and it's absolutely free so if you want to use that that may be a solution for you so I'm gonna go ahead and upload my logo that I've created so I'm going to just left click on the upload button here I'm going to drag my logo over from the folder that I've got it in left click drag release and drop it in the alt text every image has got an alt text box and really the alt text should be a description of whatever the image is say in this case a logo um, but a lot of people do put in a few keywords there and things like that to help their SEO so that's an, another thing you may bear in mind so I've got that in there I'm going to set it as the logo I'm going to save the changes now we can look at the page but I haven't set any dimensions for it or anything like that let's tr refresh and see how it's put it in there there it is and to me that's a little small it's not too bad but let's get it how we want it and I might want to change the color of my background I think I might use sort of blues for my store so let's go back to the theme options and this time we're going to go into the theme customizer now when it's loaded let's go to general settings and we'll add what they call the favicon favicon is this little type thing that sits in the browser tab at the top here and if you go to general settings in your customizer here you'll have site identity and here is where you can put in a site site icon I've called my store Divi Ecom whatever you want and that is what will appear up here as you can see Divi 4 Ecom just and I haven't saved it if we publish that it'll change to my online store there we go now I've refreshed it's got my Divi Econ my online store so that's your title and your tagline there so we're in general settings site identity we change those two let's add our site icon and again I'm gonna hit the select site icon I'm simply gonna drag the little icon that I created over These are commonly called favicons. I may be being a bit old school there, but that's what I've always known them as. So I've got that. I'm going to hit the select. And as you can see, it's put it in there. And it's up at the top here. Now, mine is a transparent PNG file. So that basically means that white background is not there, it's just the circle with no background at all if I pull up Photoshop you'll see that a bit easier As you see my logo there has got no background and I've saved it as what they call a PNG transparent file and there's that little favicon file and it's got no background so whatever color the browser tab is it's just going to show the logo like that which is great okay so we set that now next thing I want to do is I want to make my logo here a lot bigger 
And I think I want to change the color of my actual nav bar at the top here. So let's go back. We'll go back again. We'll go down to header and navigation. Now, header format, you can decide whether you want it default, which is got what we've got at the moment, logo on the left, menu on the right. You can have it centered, so the logo's in the middle, the menu's underneath. You can have it centered inline, which will put the logo in between your menu items here. You can have it slide in, so you've got a side menu like that. We just click this, see it slides in like that. Or you can have it full screen where it stretches throughout the width of the actual screen there. At the moment we've got it sort of boxed, so it's kind of in the middle there. Well, not in the middle, but there's a gap either side. So I'm going to put mine back to the default, that's fine for me at the moment. A little later on in this series we'll develop some custom headers and we will be creating a custom footer section as well. Okay, so we've got the header format where we want it. This that we're looking at at the moment is the primary menu bar. So let's go into there. Now the menu height, this is how high this particular section is. Drag it up, make it bigger, drag it down, make it smaller, or put in whatever value you want here. I'm going to put in 100, keep it simple. And my logo max height, let's give it, say, 90. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think that works pretty well for me. Text size, at the moment, that's fine. Letter spacing, that's fine too. Now the background color, something I think I might want to use some blues. Uh, so I'm going to grab the default blue there. Yeah, and that's fine. It still lets my little logo stand out OK. We haven't created any products yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to sell on this store yet. But I think I might go for uh, computers and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. And because we've changed that color there, I think I might want to change this to a lighter color, either that sort of purpley pink or a white so let's just try a white text color is right here yeah that's okay that's going to work the opacity is down on it if you want to get it brighter just bring the opacity up like that I think I'm going to do that now the active link color which would be the page that we're on at the moment let's make that a purple or slightly different color Because this isn't a real menu, that's not showing up at the moment, but that's where you can change it. I think, I think I'll probably leave that as a different color at a different time. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that menu. We haven't got a drop down, so I don't need to worry about that at the moment. And drop down menu animation, we don't need to worry about that at this particular time. So I'm going to click on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this front page and just put something there so we can scroll because there's something I want to show you. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and publish my changes first. I'll go back to the dashboard. I'm going to go to pages or I'm going to hit the little you can do it with the plus button up here and add a page or you can go to pages here however, however you wish to do it so I'm going to hit the page up here and I'm going to give it the title of home I'm going to use the Divi Builder now what I'm doing here is purely for a demonstration to show you something on that menu bar you can take a tour if you want to. I've used it hundreds of times before, so I'm going to go ahead and start building. Now, Divi comes with hundreds of templates. If you want to use a template, that's fine. Perhaps I'll just throw one in there for this demonstration. Let's grab the first one I see there. That's fine. I'm going to say use this layout.
And as you can see, it's thrown in layout. Actually, it's funny, I was talking about computers and there's one right there. It's thrown in this layout right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save the page changes. Because the rest of the site we're gonna build from scratch. I just wanted to show you something. Let's publish this page. Exit the visual builder. Now when I scroll, because we've got a long page here, you see that men menu at the top, it shrinks. And that's great, but I don't want it to. I want it to stay the same height all the time. And the reason I had to put this page in is because we didn't have anything to scroll with before. So to fix that, or change it to however you want to change it, we need to go back into the customizer. So let's go back to the dashboard. We'll go down to Divi again, to Theme Customizer. Now we call that page Home. So what we need to do is go down to where it says Home Page Settings right here, and I'm gonna assign that to the front page. Your home page displays, your latest post. Well, this is a post, it's the generic post that comes with WordPress. I'm gonna switch that to Static Page, and select the page I just created, which is the one called Home right there. Okay, now we've done that, we can scroll and see that our menu shrinks. So let's go back, go to header and navigation. Now remember the primary menu was this one that we were working on. When you scroll, that's no longer the primary menu there. That is actually the fixed menu. So if we go back, and actually go back into the primary menu, and remember these numbers, the menu height is set to 100, the height here, and the logo max height is set to 90. I don't think we've got that in the fixed, but let's see. Here we are, fixed navigation. So to stop that scrolling, to keep it the same height or make it whatever height you want, you want to set that to the same size, 100. Now it's set to the same size when you scroll there'll be no change, which is fantastic. And you can have the text do different things when you scroll as well by changing the font size there or text size. Okay, let's publish our changes. And that's pretty much it. We've now branded our little site here. So we can now exit. And here's the original. If I now refresh, it should show us what we've got going on. There we go. And we've got our little favicon or icon up there. We've got our logo here and we've customized the top bar. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.